Hello everyone, this is Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. So today we're gonna go through my 2017 favorites. I know I'm a little bit late to the game, but yeah, I've been filming other stuff and I forgot to film this, so... <laughs> but anyway, let's get started. I have tons of stuff that I wanna quickly go through them because there's some stuff I already mentioned in my other videos and then there's some stuff that I've been constantly using in my other makeup tutorials. So you know those stuff are my favorites. First, I wanna start off the video talking about this guy okay um this is the mask that i got this year during the sephora vib rouge sale and it quickly became my favorite mask out of all of my masks let me tell you i have a drawer filled with other masks like this but this one works the best for me so far it is by herbivore herbivore it's by it's by this brand i can i don't know how to pronounce it this is pretty liquidy actually it looks like a gel I really like the fresh smell of it. I have the warning though, the first time I ever put this on my face, it burns like hell. Like I feel like my face is about to like on fire, stuff like that. I believe it has a lot of, yeah, this has AHA and BHA in it. But the burning sensation does go away. It go away like 10 to 20 seconds. And that burning sensation only happens the first time when I ever applied this mask. Last night, it wasn't burning at all. So like, I guess the first time I ever used it, this mask probably sensed that I have so bad skin. I don't know. <laughs> you probably think that my skin has so much dirt and it has to be clean. That's why. Speaking of another acne treatment, this one is my all-time favorite. It's by Kate Somerville. It comes into this kind of uh, little glass bottle and I accidentally mixed it. It's supposed to be separated, the pink part and the clear part. It has 10% of sulfur, which is the highest content you can have in a like cosmetic product i believe this smells so bad really just like medicine but it really helps you to get rid of your acne the first several nights i ever used this it gets rid of my acne within a night not even joking and for some really bad acne it actually helps the acne to mature faster and then slowly get rid of it move on to the makeup product i want to talk about sorry i'm kind of moving really fast here because my camera is about to die and my phone is about to die so i'm about to die anyway i don't have a specific primer that I really love but I do have this color corrector that I really love I use a lot as you can tell this is by NYX it's their color correcting palette my favorite shade is right here this is kind of orange nude like salmon shade and it really helps my skin tone to you know color correct my under eye circle I just really like the color combo right here it is quite moisturizing but it's not too moisturizing but you can totally add several oil in it and then you could totally work it out if you want it to be more moisturizing and the price of it it's really really affordable in my opinion i do have two foundation i want to talk about i didn't try well i tried some new foundations with this in year but then they never beat up these two that i have right here first i want to talk about an affordable option for you guys it doesn't give you any flashback because it doesn't have any spf in it and by the way this is milani two in one conceal and perfect foundation and concealer so you can use this as a concealer this is a definitely a medium to full coverage foundation itself is quite heavy texture but you can put a little mud and it covers all of your blemishes and the acne and it's just like a mask so if i really want a co full coverage i will go with this for sure and it's really cheap as well it's ten dollars so yes i highly highly recommend this if you're looking for some that's full coverage but you can also tone it down to medium even to sheer because it can also be used as a concealer if you know what i mean and i'm combo skin and it works really great for me if you're wondering my skin type and the next foundation i want to talk about is kind of like <laughs> kind of bougie so <laughs> this is for some of the luxury lovers right there this is by tom ford i know really bougie traceless perfecting foundation and it has uh, spf 15 in it which is like nothing but anyway i really really like this foundation because it gives you the most natural your skin but better kind of finish this smells like amazing it smells like very luxurious if you want a medium coverage i usually pump three pumps but if you want a light coverage you can just pump one or two pumps I I will have to say for this one it just squeezes a little 
on the product. It doesn't squeeze a lot. So that's why I had to pump two or three. But for this one, for example, I only pump one or one and a half. I really, really want full coverage on one and a half. I like this foundation the most because this just doesn't transfer. You know, some foundation like you put it on and then you put your hand or against your face and the next thing you see is just like full foundation on your hand. This doesn't do that because I literally lean my face on my shirt one day on the bar and when I woke up, nothing transferred to my skin or anything and my foundation still stay on put so beautifully. And this is good if you want to go work out and you can wear this as well because one day I was wearing this to work out and I sweat to hell and nothing like really nothing really move unless you rub your face with your hand that will move for sure but this one it's like my holy grail i've had this for like almost a year i've only used this much because it's really really expensive uh this is the only one concealer i want to talk about it's by shiseido it's such a whip texture it's very thick this is it's a spa con like spa cover foundation instead of a concealer but i use this as a concealer this is just really thick for foundation but it's really really good to spot conceal your pimples and everything because it's such full coverage and, and i love the undertone of it like little bit goes a long way this is the shade number s100 and this is why it looks like the shade it just has a perfect undertone for my skin tone if you're looking for some full coverage spa concealer this will be really great let's move on to powders i know i'm talking really fast in this video because like i said <laughs> i have three powders i want to talk about first two they're kind of same category so i'm just going to talk about them at the same time one is from korea it's an eclipse blur powder pack another one is from japan it's the kamei face powder this too does the same thing is to blur your pore like a dream i used to use my brush but if you want the most like the blurriest effect on your face like face too you know what i'm talking about like face too then use a beauty blender or any sponges that you have and then the wet one pat it in and then pat on your face like pack it in you literally face in your face like no joke but i will say if you pack it on too too much too much then you will look a little, little powdery but still it's not like your face is a cake not like that in terms of how strongly they kind of blur your face this is stronger i will buy this if you don't have a lot of skin texture this i will buy if you have a lot of texture on your face and you just really want to blur it but i love them equally and another face powder is kind of loose powder that two ones are compact powder like this one i forgot to show you but anyway this one is a loose powder this one is by cover fx it does have a stopper which is really really nice i have the translucent light i will highly recommend this for those of you who have oil or a combination to oil skin this is really great to control your oil and really really mattify your face but without looking too drying so i would highly recommend this if you want to find a great powder to control your oil and then keep your makeup longer then next one i want to talk about my contour and my bronzer first i want to talk about bronzer this one i know you've probably seen this all over internet but this is really that good like this is the first bronzer i ever hit pan with i just don't like the packaging though it's just too bulky for me it did a lot of people rave about the smell but i personally not a fan of really really sweet scent just in general but i love the undertone of it i'm wearing it today only this on my face for bronzer this just gives you the most natural sun-kissed glow without looking fake, you know? And then, um, yeah, it looks like this on my face. Whenever I have a foundation that's too light for me, I will use this to kind of bronze it up. It just blends out so nicely. I will highly, highly recommend this if you're still struggling to find the bronzer for you. And it has four shades now. This one shade I'm using today is a light bronzer, by the way. Yeah. And I think my camera is about to die. No. And this one is by Kavon D. I'm sure you've seen this all over the internet already, but I still want to mention it because this is my favorite for sure. This is their shade and light contour palette. I personally use the banana shade and then this shade the most to brighten up my under eye area. And then I use this shade a lot to contour my nose and stuff like that. I kind of forgot to contour my nose. 
so I probably can use this as a demo. Hi guys, I'm back. I changed another camera, so that's why I probably look a little bit different in terms of the angle and the lighting and the stuff like that. Hopefully it's not too disturbing, but let's get back to the topic. So I was talking about this shade and light palette by Kat Von D and I went back and I did my nose contour with this shade and then this shade right here. It works really well on my skin tone. I probably won't use this two shade. They're just like too dark for me. But this two shade you can still use as like a eyeshadow. But I overall really like the powder and like the shade selection right here. And I think it's a really good investment if you really want to find some really great contour powder. Let's move on to blushes. First I want to talk about this Tarte Blush Bazaar palette. This is this holiday edition. I believe that Tarte has come out. I just really love all the shades. You get some of peachy shade and some like mauve shades and then really pink shades and then you also get two highlighters. The highlighters here I really like but I will talk about some highlights that I really really love that's like really really like a thunderstorm on your face that kind of thing but this too I still like it. And then the Tarte blush quality is awesome. They just blend out really nicely and then just really pigmented. I'm wearing angelic this shade right here. That's what it looks like. I like to use that shade kind of blend in with my contour and then my bronzer and I really love this packaging. I like it. And another affordable blush option is by Wet n Wild. This Wet n Wild blush is so amazing, especially this shade. I don't really like the other shade. This shade is Melon Wine by the way. This coral kind of shade is perfect to pair up with any kind of makeup look. The powder itself, it's not too powdery, that like flies everywhere and it's really really cheap but high quality. This probably is really comparable to the Tarte. Okay, let's move on to highlighters. So the highlighters, I only have two I want to talk about. Uh, again, I try to pick some that's high-end and then drugstore two options for you guys. The first highlight I want to recommend is the Hourglass one. Is there like ambient metallic strobe lighting palette? This highlighter literally is like a strobe light on your face, especially on the top of your cheekbone. It just like metallic. It also kind of like a wet looking on your face in my opinion. And this is just really blinding to the god that kind of highlighter. If you're looking for some really, really intense highlight, this will be the one to go for. Move on to affordable option. This is by Essence. I've been using this for really quite a long time. I really, really love this one. I think they only had one shade, unfortunately, but this one will be really great for light to medium, medium skin tone. It's a subtle and natural highlighter. If I want to go for some natural look, I will go for this. And this gives you the most natural radiant and just very healthy glow. And it is really, really cheap. It's by Essence. Essence is like one of the cheapest makeup brand I know. And let's move on to brows. Uh, I only have two brow products I wanna talk about. The first one, sorry for the packaging, it's kind of lost on its way, but this one's by Add to the House. It's drawing eyebrow. I am, I use the shade 01 the most. It's the eyebrow that I'm like, having right now. This formula, I really, really like it. Very, very pigmented. The shade range is really nice as well. I believe they have six or eight shades. I like this to draw my eyebrow because it is really, really quick to fill it in and then draw the shape like really easily. At the same time, it is not like sweat proof or waterproof or anything. It does rub off. It is just very, very cheap. I believe it's like two to three dollars. But this one, I want to talk about another brow prop. <laughs> What? This brow product I really love as well. It, it is, what is the brand? Oh, the Brow Gal. It's the convertible brow in the shade number two. So this is what it looks like inside, like the mirror is already broken. I use this shade the most often. Sometimes I use this red shade if I'm trying to do some kind of reddish look. And this shade, I usually use it for the tail of my brow to kind of make a gradient. It's really pigmented and it goes on really smoothly. 
and it lasts really long. Well, it does rub off though if you really rub it off. And the lasting power is stronger than this brow pencil that I just recommended from Ed to D House. So I will highly recommend this if you're looking for some brow trio. So you can always switch to what kind of brow color that you're looking for to pair up your perfect makeup look. Next one, I want to talk about some eyeshadows. I want to just quickly mention that all the eyeshadow palettes I mentioned in my previous top 9 eyeshadow palettes that video if you're looking in my favorite playlist you will see it those eyeshadow palettes are still my favorite i don't want to mention them again because i already talked like in details why i love them and why are they good i don't want this video to be too repetitive and this video is already kind of like a million long so <laughs> This one by Tarte is their Tartlet Toasted Palette. Absolutely love this palette. First of all, the shade selection, it is awesome for everyday look if you're a warm tone girl like I am. Plus, this has a big mirror, so I think it would be really, really great for travel. You can always create something that's really, really glam with this palette, but also natural look because it does have dark shades right here. And then the other shades, like especially this shimmer shade, it's just so pretty. And all the eyeshadow in here, they work really well with each other. And the Tarte eyeshadow quality in general, they're really good. They're really pigmented and very easy to blend. I use this as my transition today. I don't know if you can tell on my eyes. This is like my everyday school kind of makeup look palette I go for. And then the other eyeshadow palette or like an eyeshadow line in general I want to talk about. But this is the palette I would recommend the most. It's by Color Rain. It's the Queens of Heart palette. I used this one time in my channel and I absolutely fall in love with this palette. Look at this shade selection. It is... Oh, this is so pretty though. This palette has a really great matte. The matte blends out so easily. This kind of shades almost like blend out themselves. And the metallic shades, they're insane. The lasting power of this is incredible. You will expect your eyeshadow looks flawless even by the end of the day. I will highly, highly, highly recommend this. They're probably my favorite formula out of all the eyeshadow I ever have. I have all of their eyeshadow palettes, not even joking. They just came out with the new one called Cheers to the Beauty and the green you see on my eyes right here is actually from that palette. I tried it and I'm absolutely in love with it. I forgot to talk about one highlighter. This highlight I will recommend to you guys as well if you want to look for some cream highlight. It's by Benefit. I forgot the name of it but it says what's up here so what's up highlight? It is so pretty on your face before powder. So I will usually use this cream highlight when I finish my foundation, but before the powder, I will apply it. And then I will go with the powder or I will do it before my foundation. And I will put foundation on top of it. And just gives you the most natural within kind of glow that you're looking for. But now let's move on to eyeliners. One is, it's a Japanese brand. Is their Love Liner. This one is the brown one, but they have a lot of shade. I got this on Amazon. I believe it's like twenty or eighteen dollars. It it depends. But this is like by far my favorite eyeliner for sure. It does, especially the black one. I I feel like the brown one is not as good as the black one. I don't really know why. Personally, I love brush tip more than felt tip, and both of them are brush tip that I would be recommending today. This just gives you a really precise line, and it's really easy to create eyeliner look. And this doesn't move at all throughout the day. I mean, you can totally expect your eyeliner to look on flick for the whole day without moving around. So I definitely recommend this to you. Mm -hmm. The other eyeliner, if you really are too lazy to look for Japanese eyeliner online, this one, a lot of people have already talk about this on social media. Kevin D Tattoo Liners, they're almost the same price, but honestly, I love love, love liner more than Kevin D. <laughs> but this one are just like easier to find. They're still great quality. This one is still a brush tip, but I believe they came with a felt tip if you want felt tip. This is the one I'm wearing today on my eye as well. This does dry out a little bit faster than the other eyeliner. Uh, one tip I will give you guys is uh, this does dry out on me once, 
but I put this in a boiling hot water and I put this like overnight and the morning I woke up and I kind of shake it it came out like normal next one I want to talk about mascara I have two mascara I want to talk about first one is by benefit is a roller lash mascara I really really love this mascara it's the first one I found that does not smudge on me at all this mascara is my holy grail for sure can you focus yes baby this is kind of like rubber spoolie. I would say this mascara does more lengthening than volumizing. But I still like this if I want a natural good eyelash look day, I will go with this one. But if I want something really really long lashes, I would recommend you to check out this one by Flu Fushi. And the shape of it is kind of weird. It's kind of like a blade, you know what I mean? You do have to be really careful when you apply this because it does clump your lashes if you are not careful. The other one from Flo Fushi Mote Mascara Line. I heard all of them are really good. I just happened to pick up this one. And move on to the next one. We only have lips left, right? Uh, and the setting spray. Okay. The lips I want to recommend for you the first is by Dior Lip Glow. It's their color Reveille Bon. Okay, whatever French. The shade I love the most is number four. This is how much I loved, honestly. I love, love, love this balm so much. It gives you the prettiest natural tinted lip, especially the shade number four. It's just kind of like orange kind of shade to it. I love a good lip balm that can not only moisturize your lip, but also gives you quick natural radiant to your face like kind of brings out your complexion a little bit and this does that job and the next one i feel like 2017 or like 2016 and i believe for the next couple years the liquid lipstick will still be on trend but i do have some of my favorite liquid lipstick that i want to share with you guys i kind of cheat on this a little bit but i recently got this and this recently just came out but i just love this shade so much is the ColourPop with Kathleen Light collab. This one is dreamy. I will swatch it for you guys. And this is the Ultra Satin Lip Formula. So it's not as drying at all. I just love this shade a lot. And this is so cheap. It feels really lightweight on my mouth and it doesn't crack whatsoever. And I didn't even put on a lip balm before using it. So highly recommend to you. The next one I want to recommend is my all-time favorite. It's by Kat Von D. This is the shade Double Dare. These are the two shades. This top one is Double Dare. The bottom one is Dreamy. Dreamy is definitely more peachy kind of shade and Double Dare is more like a pinky nude. This is by far the most comfortable liquid lip that I ever used on my mouth. It's really, really lightweight. It doesn't crack. It stays on your lips so long. Sometimes I put this on my lip, I don't even feel the existence of it which is incredible and unbelievable. So I really, really love this. I have the other shade as well, but this is my favorite shade out of all of them. Next one or next range I want to talk about is the Jeffree Star ones. These three are my favorite shade of all the liquid lips that he came out with. This one's a Gemini and this is I'm Shook. Now, <laughs> They look really similar, right? This one is I'm Shook. This one on the top is Double Dare. This one's Dreamy and this one's Gemini. They're not exactly the same. Pumpkin Pie, it's their holiday collab. It's actually not as orange as it is in camera. I don't know why. This is the most special pumping shade I've ever seen because it has gold reflex micro glitter in it. When you put on your lips, under the sun, your lips are kind of shiny in the most incredible, special, and eye-catching way. It's not like if you put glitters on your lip, that kind of shine. And for Jeffree Star one, the applicator is a little bit different than the others. It's gigantic. And then the angle is really different. It almost reminds me of some of the high heel boots <laughs> that you have. You know, that's what it reminds me of. I would say this probably lasts the longest on my lips than the other two. So I really highly recommend this to you guys. Another honorable mention for liquid lips is the Sephora collection. This is the prettiest, most suitable purple lip on my skin tone. And I absolutely love this purple shade a lot. It's not a pure purple shade, 
is like a plum shade with a lot of tone of purple in it. But this purple works the best for me. And the formula of it, it's incredible. It's really creamy and whipped and it lasts really long. It doesn't dry out. You know all the benefits when you're talking about when you want in a liquid lip. It's a Sephora brand. I believe it's $14. Check them out. Give them a chance. You won't be disappointed. <sighs> so the angle probably changed again because one of my SD card was full. But anyway, aside from liquid lipstick, I want to recommend some traditional lipstick. First one is by 3CE. This one is the shade 116. This is the shade I'm wearing right now. It feels really comfortable on my lips. It doesn't feel drying at all. Although it's like as you can tell, it's a matte finish, which which is kind of incredible for this kind of lipstick to does that kind of job. It almost looks like a liquid lipstick. This is clean, okay. Still clean, which is amazing, right? For lipstick, one of my favorite shades right here is the NARS Mona. This one feels so comfortable and so moisturizing on lips for sure. Well, this is kind of like every moisturizing lipstick's problem. They kind of move around on, on your face a little bit. The pigmentation of this is amazing. It lasts really long on your lips. Even though after you finish a full course of meal, it will still leave a lot, a lot of pigmentation on your mouth. Another one formula I want to recommend is the Tarte Rainforest of C. First of all, the packaging looks stunning. This whole range, I would say it's everyday kind of shade for everyone. Feels really comfortable on the mouth. It it is not as moisturizing as the NARS one, but this one lasts really long. And this one doesn't move around on your mouth or on your face. Another shade I want to mention is from MAC Lipstick. It's the Sweet Sakula shade. This is kind of like girly reddish shade that's for every single day and it really brings out the complexion a lot. I love pair this with any kind of youthful look. This really gives you a youthful vibe. This really complements with every type of skin tone. My skin tone is kind of warm tone. My mom's cool tone. On um, her, it looks so incredible. My mom's like over 40. And when she put this on, I was screaming because she looks so young and she looks so adorable. And speaking of red, there's another shade I want to recommend for you guys. This is the Pat McGrath lipstick and this is the shade in 03 Elson. First of all, it is so amazing to see this type of velvet texture of lipstick. I don't really think I can tell. This is so much different than any other lipstick I ever owned. This is kind of velvet matte finish. This is a blue red so it helps your teeth to look a little bit wider and it's a matte finish but it's not a completely matte in my opinion it does have a little sheen shine through the lip but from far away it does look like a full-on matte it's not that moisturizing though i would say so if you're some girl who has the driest lips in the world i won't recommend you get this because this doesn't really moisturize your lip the last one i want to recommend to you guys the last category on that is a setting spray this is the urban decay all-nighter setting spray this is in their old packaging because they update their packagings so this one I actually got them when they were half price but they're still the same product just different packagings this really sets up your face so well I spray this on my face I can just go on my day without worrying any creasing without worrying any smudging or like you know those kind of nasty thing that can ever happen to your makeup look this really really helps my makeup to hold on to itself for such a long time so that's it guys that's the end of the video hopefully you enjoyed this favorite video i know this is probably going to be really really long but thank you for hanging out with me and yeah i hope you have a great 2018 also, before you leave, leave a comment below. Tell me what's your favorite product of the year. Number one that you cannot live without. That product. Let me know and tell me the reason why though. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And please give this video a big thumbs up. And please click that notification bell to get notified every time I upload. And Happy New Year! I will see you next time. Bye-bye.